I've been arrested 67 times. In 2005, I was released after serving 16 years in prison. In 2004, I was released from prison after serving 16 years behind bars. I was released from prison in July of 2007 after concluding my second state prison bed. I was released in 2007 after serving 30 years in the New York State prisons. I was 47 years old. And um, I went in the bathroom. I wasn't high yet, but I had drugs. And I got high in the bathroom of the police department. I don't know if I rob somebody. I don't know if I kill somebody. I don't know if I was raped. In that moment, I hated everything and everyone. I hated life and everything in it. For the first time in my life, I realized that I was the scariest person in the room. It was no longer if, but when I got out of prison. When I was released from prison, I didn't know how I was going to be able to travel or to get around the city. I was also concerned with being able to feed myself. Eventually, we are released and come out as broken, angry people. When I came out, I was concerned of how do I live like a normal human being when I don't know what normal is. I had no idea what I was going to do and, and how I was going to do it. Where am I going to work? How am I going to survive? How am I going to eat? How am I going to get clothes? When I was released from prison, I was given a uh, ticket for the train, $40, train ticket, good luck. You know, you come out, you have no money. You have no, no identification. You have no paperwork. You have no medical, which you have no connections to the world whatsoever. I wanted to live more than I wanted to die. Change doesn't happen overnight. Um, you're going to fall, you get up. You gotta fall, you get up. You see, I believe the sky is the limit. And I hope to be an example to everyone of what can be accomplished if you give somebody a chance. Today, I'm a substance abuse counselor. I'm an HIV and AIDS outreach worker. I'm a husband, I'm a father, and I am a taxpayer. Today, I am a husband, a father, an advocate, I co-host a weekly radio show. And oh yeah, I too am a taxpayer. Today I work as a supervisor at the Fortune Society. I'm a college student at Hostos Community College and I am a taxpayer. Today, I moved into my first apartment and my first adult relationship. I am working and I am finally, finally a taxpayer. Thank you. I can't speak for everybody else, but I know it was a tear jerker for me. I was trying to fight back tears. We all have a story to tell, but the time comes when we want to just say it's the time to change. And that's where I'm at. I believe in an old uh, saying that I read in a book, I forget who said it, that it's never too late to be what you could have been. <laughs>